Buenos dias. <laughs> Welcome back to Daily Devotions. <coughs> I'm your host once again, El Padre. Also known as Pastor Jesse. Anyway, <coughs> uh, today we are in James chapter 4. This is <coughs> probably one of my favorite chapters in the whole Bible. Um, I remember memorizing some of this particular chapter uh, just as a kid. Uh, there was this uh, in junior church we had um, there was like a song where the donut man <coughs> I don't know if you've ever heard of the donut man or not but basically he would have everybody marching around and we would sing James 4 7 uh, submit to God resist the devil and he will flee from you James 4 7 anyway um, anyway like as a kid this particular verse within this particular chapter became a, a really big monumental um, thing for me because as as you know I'm sure <coughs> Um, the scriptures that you know, the scriptures that you've put in your heart, um, when they're hidden there, a lot of times they'll shine out when you need them. And so, um, yeah, there have been lots of times when you are tempted to do something you shouldn't. And there's this verse there that's like, resist, resist, resist. Nope, submit to God, resist the devil, and he'll flee. So, um, anyway, I'm going to focus a little bit on some of the rest of the the chapter. Um, <coughs> I, I think that this is just a, a day for memories, I guess. There was a, a time when we were living in Milford, um, my family had moved and I, I was uh, probably in high school and I didn't realize my mom had set up some exercise stuff in the basement and I went down there one time and I remember seeing uh, this this poster on one of the poles uh, that had this particular scripture verse and it's James 4 1 what is the source of wars and fights among you don't they come from your passions that wage war within you? And this particular verse at the time was talking about how uh, you know, our desire to not be healthy, our desire to overeat and not exercise and to <clears throat> whatever, like, you know, not, not do the hard work of exercise, um, that, that, that war the source of that wage war was from that selfish desire of wanting to be lazy, of wanting to just eat whatever I want without any kind of consequences. And uh, anyway, for me, this has been, uh, I actually memorized it because it was down there. I, I started exercising down there regularly and seeing that all the time. And I was like, oh, yeah, what's the source of wars and fights among you? Yeah, it's from the selfish desires selfish passions from within. Uh, I remember uh, when we got married, Ellie and I, this is a verse that, that constantly goes through my mind. Whenever our our marriage is at a, a place to where we're just, or I don't know, we're conflicting over different things, uh, this always comes to my mind that uh, what are the source of wars and fights among you? Some of the translations say quarrels and fights, <laughs> just meaning uh, no matter what you're fighting about. Here I have, um, you know, uh, a little turtle guy <coughs> and, and I have a little bear. And uh, today they're, they're my helpers and they have some desires. Um, the turtle here would like uh, a different type of food for dinner than the bear. Uh, and so instead of, you know, figuring out ways to go, oh, you know what, I'm just, uh, I'll bless you today, I'll take the hit, 
you can have what you want and I'll not have what I want. Uh, we can have what I want tomorrow, maybe. Uh, instead, he, he's just like, no, ah, what? Die. Stupid bear. Don't even like bears. Um, that what? This is exactly what he, he goes on to say. You desire and do not have. You murder and covet and cannot obtain, you fight and wage war, and you do not have because you do not ask. And so there's there's this one element of the reality that, that you don't have in your life because you don't ask. Uh, all you do is what the turtle did, <coughs> and you try to get things that you want using your own force of, force of forcing means. Uh, in, instead of going to God and asking him for your provision. Uh, and so he says here, you murder and you covet, but you cannot obtain, you, wage, you fight and wage war. Uh, thinking about this the reality, like how much of what we hate about our history as a nation, uh, how much of what we hate about our, our history as a, as a people, uh, how much of that is horrible, but it's all rooted in this, uh this this selfish passion from within and then he says you ask and you don't receive because you ask with wrong motives so that you may spend it on your pleasures so there are some of you who who you you don't even ask at all you just do whatever you want <coughs> and you try to take it anyway and then there's other people who who you know what maybe you do ask um but your motives are wrong and you're gonna just use it the wrong way, and so God doesn't give it to you anyway. Uh, and so he goes on and says this, you adulterous people, uh, don't you know that friendship with the world is hostility toward God? Isn't this interesting that he is comparing then people who are poorly motivated with their prayer requests uh, the, he's, he's equating that to being the same as friendship with th the world. Uh, that it is hostility toward God. So whoever wants to be the friend of the world becomes the enemy of God. Or do you think it's without reason that the scripture says, The spirit he made to dwell in us envies intensely, but he gives greater grace. Therefore, he says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. So basically saying that the, the spirit of God within <clears throat> is so, so envious, uh, jealous uh, of us. Uh, he wants everything for us. And yet um, so many times we we mix, um, you know, our relationship with God with, with all these other things that we shouldn't. Uh, and so... Um, instead of trusting him to provide for us, we, we try to do it on our own. Um, sometimes we have selfish motives, um, and so we don't, we don't get what we ask for. Uh, and so instead of humbling ourselves, like this is actually tells us to do, um, instead what we do is we continue to pr puff ourselves up, uh, which basically just creates the source of more wars and fights within our lives. And so if you want to be a person of peace, if you want to be a person that has uh, rest in your soul, uh, what I would suggest then is what he goes on to say next. And that is, therefore, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Be miserable and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned into mourning. Listen, uh, some of you guys need to repent before the Lord. Submit to God. First and foremost, you got to submit to God. Resist the devil. Satan, we resist you in Jesus' name. Uh, draw near to the Lord. Draw near to the Lord. Uh, cleanse your hands. Well, that's repentance. Uh, and purify your hearts. Uh, so let's just take a moment here. And let's just ask the Lord to show each and every one of us, because I think, I think if we're honest with ourselves, we'll be able to see how there are times that each and every one of us have acted selfishly. Uh, each and every one of us have um, acted from a place of hostility 
with God when we should have humbled ourselves, uh, come to him, ask for mercy, ask for help. And what we did was we tried to get it on our own. Let's just pray. Lord, we come before you and we <coughs> just take a moment now to wash our hands. Um, forgive us, Lord, for the times that we've acted in all of the ways that this is mentioned that, uh, Lord, we, we've not acted well. Uh, we've been selfish in our motives. We've, we've, uh, sought things with selfish gain, uh, as our desire. Lord, we, we're not even thinking about you at all. We're just thinking about ourselves. Some of us have become way too buddy buddy with the world and we didn't even realize it and so lord we ask that you forgive us for that lord we humble ourselves before you <coughs> lord we ask that you'd purify our hearts even now jesus we draw near to you we draw near to you we purify our hearts before you lord just you have permission to examine each and every one of our hearts Lord, that even as we sit here and we, we pray, Father, that you would, you, you have total permission, total permission to just do whatever you want, uh, Lord, that you can, you can purify us from head to toe. Jesus, we give you permission to come in and examine the impurities, Lord, the things that are in our minds that need to be, uh, rid of, uh, Lord, we ask now that you'd give us the strength to, to resist the devil when he, he's, giving us those thoughts that for those of you who are watching, maybe you're dealing with thoughts of, of suicide. We resist that in Jesus name We the thoughts of, of any kind of other sins, uh, pornography, we, we resist that temptation. Uh, any, any kind of lust, we, we resist that in Jesus name and any kind of pride, we resist that and any kind of, <coughs> Coarse talk that doesn't represent you, Lord. We resist that. In Jesus' name, amen. <clears throat> All right, if, if you haven't done so uh, already, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Click the little bell and then you'll get notified whenever our amazing, sometimes slightly lame uh, videos <laughs> come out. If you haven't seen our podcast episode where Dan does a deep dive into can we trust uh, the authors of the Bible. <clears throat> I think you will find it incredible. So go ahead, check out that video. Peace out, Girl Scout. <laughs>